Welcome back to the Fire Emblem Fates Birthright Blind Run. Last time, we recruited, well, uh, yeah, we recruited a uh, certain someone who has been reborn. Thanks to her efforts in studying curses. Reborn so that she may take her revenge on Mary Sue. If Mary Sue reincarnates in this world, which hopefully she won't. But anyway... This time, there's no putting it off any longer. We're actually going to be going into the next story chapters, and I... Oh, horrendous irony, if you know what the next chapter on Conquest is! Wow! Wow, wow, wow. Wow. That could not have been more badly timed. I'll try my best. Anyway, uh, speaking of which, I think it was Rajat's birthday a while ago, and I missed it because I hadn't recruited her yet, so that's annoying. Speed and luck, that's good. That's good too. Monkey spirit, that's actually quite good. And, uh, how about a birthday present? Let's see, what do you... No, that's, that's too cruel. Uh... Let's see... Does she already have the sun? No, she doesn't. Let's, let's try that. <laughs> Now, considering a certain something, that that crown might actually be, well, yeah, I won't talk about it because I don't like talking about theories and Let's stuff. Do our best. Okay, this one sounds like it could be interesting. <laughs> Though I've heard that I would kind of like to support with Kaldori and Shiro, because I've heard that that pairing is actually quite nice. Um. Oh look, it's the generic character with barely any backstory or personality. Well, she has that personality, yeah. but she doesn't really have much development. Anyway. Oh. Oh, at least it wasn't another Subaki's, um, Subaki's Lance. That would be hilarious. Wow. Wow. Uh, you don't... Uh, stop giving giving the disturbing parts of the fandom ideas. Uh... Flower band? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. The character's... Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the attention to detail there. There's actually, yeah, unique reasons for certain people to reject certain accessories. That's actually yeah. quite nice. Oh. I mean, I'm. I feel bad that I hmm. didn't get the good uh, fish. Okay. I didn't get the good outcome there, but that is interesting, and that does make sense. Also, speaking of which, uh, Selkie has grown on me a little bit, but probably because I've since found other child characters that I think are even worse, so yeah. At this point, she's actually not bad, again, compared to some of the other child characters. Yeah. Getting uh, getting peaches in this castle definitely meant my birthright Lilith is uh, quite a bit better than my conquest one. Yeah. Uh, what shop? Okay, right, lottery shop. Oh, something that I found well, out well, recently. Uh, so, Orochi got the lowest spot on the Japanese popularity polls. From what I hear, yeah, I'm definitely getting more silvers now. I think upgrading the lottery shop does help. Good luck as an asset. Well, considering Kamui does have a luck at Vulnerary, really. See you soon. Anyway, so Orochi ended up at the bottom of Japanese popularity polls. Apparently, people in comments have told me the reason for that is that I need to go to the mess hall now. Is that she apparently laughs at you when you get a bad prize in the lottery shop, and people like downvoted her out of spite because of that. That's really interesting. Apparently the entire fan did that. Also, Azura is a really good cook, so this is going to be amazing. Uh, I have no idea what we'll be fighting this thing of Gnaw, but if they start having good magic, uh, I might need some Daikon and maybe some, uh, some fish. Well, you might not be able to use that fish you picked up, Silas, but your wife definitely will. <sighs> At least she doesn't say time for your final bow and making food. Mm. That's... Oh! Oh! Norian! That's not bad, considering that we're going into Nor, but uh, yeah. And it makes sense, cause she, considering she's technically a Norian princess. Okay, it's still good. 
<laughs> However, the effects are only going to affect fans of Norian food, of whom we have very few except for Scarlet. And, um... Who else, I wonder? Yeah, Felicia got the boost there. Yeah, Sophie. Yeah, wow. Sophie's actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, I should probably mention this uh, after I go in the arena. I did some off-camera grinding to get pr most people up to level 7 or 8. So, hopefully I should not have as much of a bad Glad time if I decide help. to use several characters. Although, I think Setsuna was one of the Allow few people that I help. didn't actually... I know Azuma is not level 7 or 8 yet, which is kind of annoying. Uh, do I risk my Amber on them? Let's try it. Okay, yeah, she is level 7, but Azuma is not yet. This is not good. I think Azuma did rank up his Lance level, though. So, he can actually crit now, which is amazing. Okay, I'm glad that missed. I'm glad that missed, too. Nice uh, acrobatic archery there. Uh, I can technically go three rounds, but I don't know if Setsuna's endurance can really handle that. She is very fragile defensively. Master Ninja and a Mechanist. Well, bows do beat shurikens. All right, let's go. Yeah, this doesn't look okay. That Mechanist, though, not Mechanist, a uh, Merchant. Yeah, that's kind of painful. Ah, oh, yeah, she's dead, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. Probably not. I think characters with high defense are better in the arena in general, actually. Now let's see if we can uh, convince whoever's in the prison here. Glad to help. Allow me. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I still wish they'd bring back remixing earlier battle themes for arena themes. There's a lot of good old ones they could remix. Oh, Scarlet, okay. Uh, we still have quite a few people. Uh, let's continue trying to persuade him. Leave it to me. Ugh. Mind if I join in? You're in trouble now. <laughs> let's do this. Oh, really? Okay. I thought it was almost convinced last time. Alright, now it is face-looking time. Let's see who we can invite in. <laughs> Alright, first Bond. And now, the looking of the face. Uh, actually, we are A-supported with Rinka. We could try and get that up a bit to see. Although... Oh, we haven't seen Mitama either. Or Kaldori. Look, I'm just tempted to see how hilarious this is. Yay! <laughs> Let's see if he says anything pretty amazing. It's so weird to be a guest and not the host. I think I like it. <laughs> wow, his my room portrait is interesting. Yeah, um, something I should mention is. Okay, there we go. Okay, so something kind of annoying, when I'm using my 3DS capture, if I double click on the window and make it full screen, it crashes. So that just happened. Uh, Izana apparently crashed the thing. Uh, what was I saying is uh, that, oh yeah, I think I may have got a brief glimpse of Izana's picture before I played the game, and I assumed it was a girl. Uh, given his My Room model, he looks a lot like a girl there, so yeah, that kind of makes sense. Anyway. Now, because I did some off-camera off grinding, I have quite a few supports to go through now. Uh, Sakura and Takuma, which I hear is kind of hilarious. Sakura and Subaki, because I was grinding Subaki up a little bit as well as Hana. Shiro and Ryoma B. Subaki and Kaldori A, because I grinded her up a bit too, as you can see. Uh, Hana and Kaldori B. Ryoma, yeah, like I said, Takumi and Sakura, uh, Haya, and then these two just have their parent child. Saizo and Asagi, because I grinded them a little bit as well. And yes, yeah, so there's that. So, what should I do first? No, I should just do this. This one's a. Not exactly, this is more of a retainer support. <laughs> really? Wow, I envy you. 
Oh, that's kind of ironic saying it now, because at this point, uh, uh, this is annoying. I've been feeling tired all week when I recorded this for some reason. Like, uh, don't you just hate it when it's like the middle of the day and you feel really tired and you slept the night before and you feel like you haven't slept at all? That's me when I'm recording this. Well, he's certainly taking after his daughter there. And by supplies, you mean go to sleep. That is interesting. And I'll save that for later. Although almost all the other supports I have are parent-child, so... Perhaps I should do that one too. Well, one less of these that I have to grind for later. I wanted to get all of the sibling supports uh, by the end of the game, so... I, I was going to put most of them in, a in one part at the end of the game, but... Hmm... I actually just got an idea as to how to do this, um, because before I got really annoyed as to thinking about how I would record all of those supports. I thought, oh, I'd have to get like a C for the cut for the pair for the pair of siblings, see the support, to get my blind reactions to it, then grind to the B, record that, and it would just be all in too many little chunks. I had an idea of how I could do that. I could grind for all the supports, but watch them and then immediately press start to skip them. Then. When I go to record the video showing all the sibling supports, I'll just replay them out of the records hall and record my blind reaction to them there. That makes sense. Okay, good thing I thought about that there. So yeah, uh, apparently I've heard about this before. Takumi and Sakura supports are all about dodging getting out of a party. Probably involving Izana. Or not, it's just one of... <laughs> Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> so yeah, I'm interested to see that one. That's apparently one of the more comedic uh, s sibling supports in this game. Where's Kamui, by the way? Okay, for a second there I thought he'd max one of his stats. Nope, obviously not. Uh, how about Ryoma and Shiro B? So, I guess their relationship hasn't improved much. And keep an eye on that being a jerk to your son, Ryoma. It weakens you. Yeah, you definitely need to be mindful of your surroundings on a battlefield, or you could just get shot by archers very easily. Huh. And you mustn't be a uh, hot-headed guy who rushes into battles, because that's not going to end well for your country. Then again, Ryoma does have some very, very good advice to say about being king here, so I do like this support. Yes, yeah, so despite the fact that you say for the glory of Hoshida all the time, and yeah. I guess that's saying both fighting for your country and fighting for glory. Huh. He does definitely have some of the, um, probably most potential for development out of the child characters. Not many of the other royal children get that. Oh, actually, though, then again, there's only one other fixed royal child on Hoshido, and I kind of have not got them yet, so I wouldn't really know. How about this one? Their C support was pretty good, so how about this? But damn it, there cannot be any damaged weapons in this game. I thought you realized that by now. Heh. <laughs> 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 mm. 
<laughs> wow, she's being weird. That's just interesting, it's kind of like an inverse of um, Severa and Cordelia's supports back in Awakening. I completely forgot what these- oh right, they're all about training being perfect, blah blah blah, which is t uh, terrible because Subaki is not perfect, he is a big fail. Okay, that's an interesting um, curse there, if that's at least better than Moldy Onions. And that's going to make you improve a lot, because training to be like him is a bad idea. Yeah, in some ways that kind of feedback is not useful. I really understand where, Cal where Kaldori is coming from, I almost called her by her. Yeah, that other name. Yeah, why are you obsessed with being perfect? Yeah, and whatever idiosyncrasies and flaws you have only detract from your power, trust me. I will never get tired of mocking how bad Tsubaki's stats are. Huh, then why do you go on about it? Wow. Oh, wow! Are we finding out more about... about Tsubaki? <laughs> okay, that is a very nice support, actually. I wonder if Tsubaki's reasons for being perfect are gonna, uh for wanting to be perfect all the time, are gonna come into play in some other supports. Oh, speaking of, uh, yeah, of supports where parent and child relations aren't so good, how about this one? Or it's gonna get better, maybe. Yeah, this does feel weird. Does he have an ulterior motive? Yeah, that wasn't exactly true. Huh. Oh, that's interesting, wow. He's definitely taking after his ninja parents. Yeah, exactly. Then again, Sizor was pretty good at keeping secrets. I mean, he kept secrets from Kaze for ages about uh, who really killed their father and why he wanted revenge. Oh, but he's also about making friends. Good that he's not being completely amoral about it. Okay, Sizzle's actually getting better here. Kind of, yeah. Huh. Well, their relationship's certainly getting better. And now it's time for some most likely kind of weird supports. Look at her magic, it's pretty insane. Much better speed too, but and defense. The only thing that she really, that Orochi really has over her is, well, HP, but also, um, also skill. Yeah, Orochi hits much more often. Then again, it makes sense, because, you know, the original Tharia had pretty horrible skill. In fact, although the original Tharia had much more defense and much less resistance, and probably much less luck. Anyway, though, uh, which one to do first? I've heard the mother supports are quite heartwarming with this, so I might want to go with Hayato. Oh no, have you been cursing people again? Or have you been being a Yandere? Well, that's kind of true. Well, at least she's not trying to act normal like that one time that she did back in Awakening. That did not end well for anyone. 
Yeah, she kind of does have an attitude problem, but that's just kind of how... Yeah. No, you're more interested in making faceless children. Oh, wow. Wow, Hayato's getting really, yeah, passionate about this. <laughs> yeah, um, you're one to talk there. <laughs> yeah, weird deep problem shenanigans. Also, yeah, she's technically... Very, very old, pronouncing all her reincarnations by this point. Anyway, how about this one? Oh. Huh. Wait a minute, didn't she do this back in one of her awakening supports? Did you, like, turn all their corn into, like, super evil dark corn that spawns faceless? Oh. Alternatively, they're all contracting npc itis and will soon throw themselves into a battle and die. Because that's generally what villagers develop, eventually. Oh, that's just like blaming Absol for disasters, though. Might have had... She may have had unintended side effects, but she didn't intend to make them all sick. Well, uh, Rochian and her husband are definitely great at making potions, so hopefully they could find a cure. Yeah, everyone's pretty wary of her. Huh. Yeah, that support definitely is interesting. And speaking of which, that's everyone. So... Oh, uh, can we... Haldore statue, okay. Oh, no, I've got plenty of room for more statues here, I'm fine. Okay, we can upgrade... Oh, we can upgrade both of their statues. We can upgrade the launcher. Maybe I should do that. Smithy... Oh, you know what? Let's upgrade the Scarlet statue. So that's now Silver, Tsubaki, Silas, and the Kagero statue. Can upgrade the Hinoka statue. Actually, let's upgrade the Dawn Dragon now. Get the feeling that I already upgraded the Dawn Dragon earlier, and I lost it when I uh, game over and forgot to save, but anyway. And... Uh, Arvo plus 15 in my castle battles definitely sounds like a good idea. And that's all I'll upgrade for now. Well, um... So next time, we'll be heading into Windmire for the Hidden Capital.